So, uh, Dade City, this couple, Barry and Susie Court, uh, they had all of their lawn furniture picked up by the trash company and thrown in the yard. They placed their front porch furniture and window screens in the front yard while they were having their home pressure washed. When workers were behind the house, a garbage truck pulled up. Security video from a nearby home shows the trash collectors walking into their yard, not at the curb, walking to the center of their yard. Oh. They pick up all their tra- all their uh, lawn furniture and throw it in the back of the trash truck. Those poor trash guys, they're just trying to do a good thing, clean mm. up the yard a little bit. Uh, the courts say they had four pieces of outdoor wicker furniture, including a glass top table, two antique rocking chairs, Three window screens. All they left was the welcome mat, said Susie Court. <laughs> yeah, the court said they immediately reached out to Waste Connections of East Paxco, spoke with customer service. They say they were asked if they had a bulk item pickup request. I said, no, this isn't trash. If it were trash, it would be sitting next to my trash can. Yeah, that's where you put the trash. Was this one of those guys that, because our neighborhood has like a guy that comes around and picks up the Sort of like trash type stuff, and then sells it. Oh yeah, well, oh, not, not a scrapper. Oh, no, oh, no. Was people, this guy a scrapper? Maybe. Listen, people run. No, this was an actual. This was the trash collection oh, truck that uh, that they use in in this neighborhood in Pasco County. I can see and, if it was a scrapper, Jake. Uh, no, every neighborhood, every anywhere locally, wherever you listen, this happens all over the country. Listen, in in New York, uh, you know, outside of the apartment we had in New York, you'd put anything at the curb. That, that thing was gone, in, yeah. you know, in seconds. Man, we we did this before. I I set up a video camera. We put out like some busted up piece of furniture, and I'm like, all right, how long before someone picks this thing up? I had a we a put ca- every piece of wooden furniture from your old house in yeah. front of the Mons Venus. Yeah, we did. And we sat across the street. We watched people just take it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We, my old bedroom set years ago. We put out in the parking lot at Mons Venus at seven o'clock in the morning, and people just people just took it. <laughs> Didn't you have to move it, Fester? Didn't you and Froggy move it? We got it out there. We didn't have to bring yeah. it back because no, everybody took everything. No, but you guys took it out there. Yeah, we took it yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so all of their furniture that was in the yard was thrown in the back of the truck. The court said they were told that a supervisor would call them back. No one did. They kept calling the company. They laughed at us. They didn't offer anything to make it right. The courts even called the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, but were told eh, it's a civil matter. Uh, then... I guess uh, Better Call Bankin got involved. Uh, so frustrated, they called Better Call Bankin for help. You better call Leaders Furniture. So Better Call Bankin, Shannon Bankin, called Waste Connections. Uh, the court said the cost uh, to replace everything was about nine hundred fifteen dollars. Uh, yeah. Shannon Bankin then sent invoices for each item to Waste Connections. A spokesperson said that. Uh, it was a simple mistake. Happens from time to time. You know, the trash you want thrown out would be at the curb, not in the middle of your yard. At what point should the trash people not go any further and take anything? I think it's supposed it, to be three feet from your I curb. Mean, yeah. If you have a sidewalk, you know, or you know, if it's, it's three, four, five feet, I mean, to go into a yard's pretty aggressive for a. That's what I'm trash saying. Guy. It was in the middle of their yard. So a spokesman said that uh, it was a simple mistake. He added that it's the right thing to do to cover the cost. You know who should cover it? The pressure washing company. Uh, you know, I better call Banking right now. Good Hang job, Banking, yeah, for I, getting I, this one done. I, I better call Banking right now. Hang on a minute. I'm, I'm calling Banking. Where is it? Here it is. I got Banking's cell phone. Hang on. Here we go. I'm, I better call Banking, and then I better call Soul. Hang on. Uh, I'm calling. Shannon Bankin from News Channel 8 right now. Hey, Andrew, do me a favor. Pick up the phone and see if uh, Shannon Bankin can talk to us. Tell her we're talking about the uh, furniture that was taken out of the yard in Pasco County. So uh, this story was yesterday morning. So uh, when was the story? I think it was yesterday. So I wonder if uh, the, the trash company's made good yet. So if, if Shannon Bankin's up, I think Andrew's speaking to her. Uh Tell Shannon it's the MJ Morning Show. We we better call Bankin. Uh, Andrew is uh, all right. Hold on, I think I think she's going on hold. All right, hang on a minute. Here we go. I 
Better call Bacon, and here's Bacon. Hey, Shannon. Hi, MJ. Good morning. Hey, morning, Shannon. Hey, we're talking about the story about the trash company taking all the couple's uh, lawn furniture out of their front yard. Amazing story, right? You're trying to do something good, do a little spring cleaning. Next thing you know, your stuff's gone. Yeah, so did the truck, like, compact and smash their furniture? Were we able to ascertain whether anything was salvageable? That's what we think happened. You know, the trash company comes along, they put all this stuff in. And originally, I kind of wondered, oh, did these guys just kind of drive by and say, there's some nice furniture I can take home to my wife? (laughs) It doesn't appear that that's what happened. It appears that they just took it, put it in the back of the truck, and it it smashed to smithereens. Shannon, is there any update? Has this trash company, have they sent the check? Has Waste Connections said they are going to cover the $915? Well, I have to tell you, we got in touch with Waste Connections, and since I was able to get in touch with the right person, they did own up to it right away. They knew about the incident. They said that they're going to cover it. So I sent an itemized list um, over to Waste Connections, and they said that they think it's the right thing to do to cover it. But we're still waiting for that check to arrive, and I can't wait to go out and do the follow-up story, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to sit on the porch with some actual furniture because it's a pretty sad-looking porch right now today with all the furniture gone. Yeah, I bet it is. And then they had a couple of screens that were thrown away as well and the glass top table the wicker the rocking chairs hey i'm thinking maybe you ought to you know follow them to like leaders outdoor furniture and and get it all replaced or something well and that's the thing when you put furniture out we've all seen furniture out in neighborhoods and you put it out hoping that somebody's going to take it you put a sign on it that says free or you hope that the trash company is going to pick it up and usually they don't so when you have something that actually is trash and you want it to go away it doesn't and then in an instance like this, you have things sitting out there that he said this furniture was about a year old, the set. Then they had rocking chairs that had been yeah. passed down for generations, 127 years old. Yeah, that so, sucks. Oh I mean, God. for for like family heirlooms to get thrown away, that's the worst part of the story. You know, one-year-old wicker furniture, that's you can replace it. But, you know, 127-year-old family rocking chairs, that sucks. Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. All right. Well, listen, let us know uh, when they get their check. And, I, you know, I I would imagine that everything was just compressed in the back of the trash truck and just smashed to bits. Probably, you know, yeah. great it's, granny's it's rocking sad. chair is splinters right now. Yeah, very sad. Great grandma's uh, probably rolling over in her uh, grave right anyway, now. Anyway, you know what? I love the fact that I can call Bankin anytime. And when I feel I better call Bankin and she picks up the cell phone, I think it's amazing. I think in your case, MJ, it's called, it's more like Better Bother Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> better Badger Bacon. Yeah, you guys, thank you. Thank All you, right. Shannon. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right, Shannon Bacon from News Channel 8.